Hello and welcome to another CAD Dimensions Tech Tip. My name is Jesse. This week we're going to talk about a question I get asked fairly frequently. What is a multi-body? Is it a part? Is it an assembly? We'll take a look. Multi-bodies refer to a single part file containing multiple bodies. Now this can happen a number of ways, but it was initially designed to handle weldments. A weldment, once it gets to an assembly, is a single part, though it's made up of several small components or bodies. Now if you're familiar with weldments, you're used to seeing a cut list, something like this. Typically in here you would find structural profiles, in this case these are just solid sweeps. However, this is exactly the same as a multi-body part, it's just organized under the name cut list. The name cut list assumes we are taking common material stock and cutting it to the lengths we created in the model. So how would we create a multi-body part outside of a weldment environment? Multi-bodies can be created one of several ways. Number one, disjoint closed contours. By disjoint contours, we mean two sketches that don't touch each other. We can see here I have closed contours, but they have no connection to each other, no overlap, and they're not nested. When we create features from these sketches, we'll see that we'll end up with two separate bodies. I'll extrude this to any distance. Now already in my tree, I can see I have one solid body. I've customized my tree to show single solid bodies, though this is not the default behavior. I'll explain this customization at the end. If we create another feature from this green sketch, we can see I have my merge result checkbox turned on, which we'll talk about in the next step. If I say OK, we get two separate solid bodies. The second body is due to the fact that these features don't touch, so there's nothing to merge. So what does that merge result checkbox actually do for us? Let's take a look at number two. Number two, unchecked merge result. In cases where features would touch or overlap, we'll see the merge result will leave us with a single solid body if checked, if unchecked, we'll see separate bodies. Merge result would apply to face-to-face -to -face contact or volumetric overlap. Now in this case, we see I have a sketch on top of a face, so that would be face-to-face -face contact if we extrude this sketch outwards. I'll select this sketch, and we'll now see with merge result turned on, we'll say OK. Of course, merge result is default behavior. We get one solid body just as we had. However, if we edit this feature and uncheck merge result, now we see a different behavior. From here, now we see I have two separate solid bodies. These are now independent entities in the part, but are still stored within the same part file. Number three, a split command. The third way we can create a multi-body part is by taking a single solid and splitting it. To do this, we can use the split command. The split command can be found under insert, features, split. From here, we can select a trim tool. In this case, I'll use the same sketch that we used for the last step. And here we can see I have two separate bodies. If we say okay to the split command, my part has now been cut normal to that sketch. Number four, different body types. A fourth way we can create multi-bodies is simply by using different body types. In this case, I have a single solid body. If I create a surface body, those two bodies will both exist in this part file. I'll simply use a planar surface and accept. Now we see I have two different types of bodies within this part. I have a surface body and I also have a solid body. Multi-body models can be a great help when using advanced methods like the master model technique or when creating molds. 
If you want to keep an eye on how many bodies you have in your model at all times like I do, you can customize your tree here. Simply right click in gray space, hit hide show tree items, and that will shortcut you into the system options. Under feature manager, we will see what is actually shown in our tree. I have both my solid bodies and my surface bodies set to show. The default is automatic. Automatic does two different things for solid bodies and for surface bodies. For solid bodies, automatic will turn the solid bodies folder on when there's two or more solid bodies. As most of the time we have a single solid body, it will auto hide that folder. Again, I have mine set to show, so it's always there. Surface bodies will become available as soon as we get a surface body, since typically we don't have surface bodies. Again, I have that also showing just so I can easily keep tabs on things. Well, I hope this tip shed a little light on what a multi-body part is and how it might help you in the future. And as always, I hope to see you next week. Don't forget to check us out on YouTube, Twitter, Facebook, and our blog for more great content by clicking on the links in the description below. 